right before we jump into this video, if you haven't signed up for the Fronos photo email list, just look for this orange box over on the website. Put your name, email address in it, hit send it, and I will send you a free guide to capturing motion in low light situations. Jared Poland, Fronos photo. Dot com and what I want to give you guys right now is a first person perspective of a proposal that I photographed not too long ago for a friend. Now a proposal as in he's asking his girlfriend to marry him. So this is going to be pretty darn interesting but I use the GoPro to film this proposal but also film a couple of pieces of commentary before the couple showed up to get their photos taken. So I'm going to send you over to the park right now to watch two different clips of me talking about the ideas before the shoot happens. Keep in mind the audio from the GoPro is pretty terrible but right after you see that we're going to get into commentary of the actual proposal. Okay, so I'm doing an, well, surprise engagement thing that a friend asked me to do. So I'm spotted like, yeah, it's 20 minutes before. So I wanted to find my location. I'm exactly where they told me to be, which is right here. And they want to do it like right here. So I want to make sure I don't get the damn trash can in there. The light is interesting. So I'm going to test it out first uh, and we'll see what we get after uh, we do that. So. It's gonna be somewhere around here. I got the 70 to 200, brand new one right here on the D5. I'm gonna get some settings and then I'm gonna go hide in a corner somewhere and I'll try to film it. All right, wish me luck. So another thing I'm doing is I'm making sure I'm set to raw. I'm making sure my exposure is right. I'm making sure that my focus point is gonna be at the uppermost part because when somebody gets on their knee, I wanna get them in the image as well as the person and her reaction. So I'm not worried about the super tight shot. I'm more worried about the kneeling, getting him in it, holding the ring up as she then does whatever she's gonna do. So that's how I'm preparing. I'm gonna put the focus point on her, not on him because her back is supposed to be to the park so that I can shoot into the park and not have that as a background. I want the park as a background. I really have to pee though. I have to pee, but I gotta be ready for this. All right, here is the actual lead up to the proposal. I think that's them walking in the distance back there, actually, but I can't see that far personally. Okay, keep in mind, you've got this kid right here. All right, so you see the kid. Now enter from the left. You see this lady with the dog right here? Yep, remember her for later. And here we go. So I'm trying not to be seen. I've prepared, I'm ready for this point. Uh, I'm ready for the shoot to happen. And that's them actually walking in the distance right here. So they're walking to the park. I know what's going on. I've never met her and she's never met me. So she probably wouldn't recognize me. So I'm sneaking along. Making my move, I'm like do 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 with my back turned. And then just as I turn, I realize he went the wrong way. So that's why I turned my back like this, because he went back into the park. Now here, watch what's going on. There's that kid from before. He's, I pointed him to get out of the way, nicely. I'm prepared here. I'm waiting, and then boom, he's on his knees. I'm taking pictures. You hear a bunch of rapid fire shots? That's because I've got to get the action. I don't have a lot of time to do this. She's happy, she's cheering, she's jumping, and he's off his knee. You see that? That was literally, it was something like 10 or 11 seconds where I had time to actually get one really good photo. That is not a lot of time, and I will tell you, I was nervous going into this. I, people wonder, Jared, do you get nervous on photo shoots? Yes, I absolutely get nervous because I know I have one chance to get this right, and who knew it would only be 11 seconds to get it. When I first started, I turned VR off because I was at one one thousandth of a second. I'm like, I don't need VR for this. Then I realized my hand was shaking, and I'm like, yep. I probably should put VR on on the new 70 to 200 2.8e. By the way, this was the first time I was using it on an actual photo shoot, and I think it worked out pretty well. Put the VR on, got the shot that I need, or got the shots, and didn't shake. Now I want to show you the pictures. So this is a good photo because you see her covering her mouth. She's realizing what's going on, what's happening. And good thing was that Scott listened to me when I told him to make sure that her back is pointed in, you know, her back is to the park, so I'm shooting into the park. That's what's important. Next one, oh my God, it's setting in. 
to then jubilation, and you saw her jump. You saw how fast that happened. It was pretty darn quick. And this shot right here is my favorite shot. Why is it my favorite shot? Because you can still sort of see, you know that he's holding a box there. It would have been nicer if I was a little bit further to the right to possibly get the ring in there. But like I said, I didn't know where any of this was gonna happen. But what I love is that she is off the ground. She is floating in air. You can see she's smiling and happy. She's probably gonna say yes at that point. And those four shots are what I absolutely love. All it really takes is getting one great shot of them in this situation. And I think I got a handful, but especially that one where she's floating, that's the one that I think yells yes, because she's in midair. If it was a no, she would have smacked him and punched him and kneed him in the face or something and walked away. So that was that part. Now I'm gonna continue on. I'm just gonna let you listen as other things happen. Remember the lady with the dog? Keep an ear out for what's going on as well as for how many shots or what the shots are that I'm taking, and then I'll come back and talk a little bit more. That's pretty much it. I wanted to let that roll in real time so you could hear what was going on with the ladies. I was honestly about to cry. I was really jealous that he was getting engaged and I was like, oh, this is so sad. And, and then this lady starts yelling like, is this real? Is this real? And I'm not gonna stop. I have to pay attention and take the photos. I was shaking my head and then she was like, oh, there's a photographer. But yeah, it, it was real and it happens really darn quick. Here, here's what the lady looks like. She came up to congratulate them at the end. She was like, oh, this was amazing. And she was obviously very happy and excited for them. She thought it was a movie thing or something fake, but it honestly, yes, it was real. So the moral of the story here is how much shooting time did I actually have? A minute and a half or less? I had 11 seconds is what I counted from the time he got on his knee to the time he got off of his knee to get the photos. What that means is you need to be prepared before the couple ever shows up to get the shots. You need to make sure you're in raw. You, may ne you need to make sure your settings are at least tested in the area that you're going to be shooting. You need to make sure you're in continuous focus if that's where you wanna be. And I even set the focus point to the top for when I was gonna be vertical because I knew I wasn't, I didn't wanna futz around and move it. And you don't want it on autofocus, you want it on autofocus, but you don't want the camera selecting the autofocus point for you because what if it gets the person's back and not the girl smiling? So that's pretty much it. We did a couple of more photos after because it's always nice to get a ring shot. It's always nice to get a shot of them together being all lovey-dovey. I love the black and white that I ended up capturing of them. That is an awesome shot. And I ended up giving them some prints from the day and ordered them some Adorama Picks metal prints so they can hang them on the wall because that's my gift to them. So my friend asked me to do it and I went ahead and captured their proposal. Very happy I was able to do it. Didn't know that it was gonna happen so darn quick, but that is a real look, a first person perspective of somebody getting engaged. So hopefully that if you ever get in that situation, hopefully you don't miss the shot because it happens so quick. So that's it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Subscribe now. Watch this, watch this video.